Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another episode of the Trolled series, a series where we are continually showing it can be a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The level that's going to be making me look like an idiot today is called Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. Yes, there is now a troll level based on the infamous Bowser's Big Bean Burrito level. What is this world coming to? Honestly, I'm not expecting much. I'm just hopeful that it will be better than Big Bean Burrito. Burrito too, and you, you start to clench up a little bit, and you're worried that you're gonna mess up. You shouldn't mess up. Ah! Probably the worst level in Mario Maker 2 that I have played. But if you guys want to check out this level on your own before watching me play it, the level code is right above me. It will also be in the description below. Let's go ahead and fire up Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. And uh, I guess we're just gonna see how uh, things go. Bowser's Big Bean Burrito was made by Jason, who have not played any of Jason's troll levels before. I honestly have no idea what to expect. I just saw the name of this level. I was like, we, we gotta play it. We gotta try it out. So all I ask is and hope for is that it's better than Big Bean Burrito too. So. We're off to a rousing start. So am I supposed to? Do? <laughs> I. <laughs> Wait, I just thought- wait a second. Oh... I think you were supposed to do that. So you're supposed to go do the old under then over technique. Alright, I like that. That's a nice little starting troll. <laughs> Look at us getting a hot ding dong so early into the level. I'm not used- Like I was saying, I'm not used to getting a hot ding dong this early. So we have the classic icicles behind the launcher. I think we just want to go fast. Those poor boom booms. <laughs> Those poor boom booms. I've seen better days. Okay. <laughs> Already two seconds into this level. It's way heckin' better than Bean Burrito 2. Okay. So now we have the question... Do I go down and get the spiky shelmet, or do I skip it? I think we're gonna need it. Surely we're gonna need it. And don't call me Shirley. Um. Wait, what? Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I have no idea how this works. <laughs> I thought I, I thought I had an inkling of what I was supposed to do. I don't. Okay, so maybe I'm not supposed to put this on. But wait. wait what? Okay, wait a second. Oh, ya boy! Look at these big old brains. Look at these big old brains doing some work. Friends. Okay. This does not look promising. We have a bridge of launchers. You know this is not gonna go well. Or I could just be Clutch Daddy Davy. I am just, I am just too good at this game. <laughs> I am just. <laughs> <laughs> Pride. <laughs> Go with it before the fall. I'm honestly tempted to follow these guys down, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to. We're going to test this door again. Okay, good. I almost forgot about that part. So here... What on earth? Okay, so that... That's a classic troll there. This is gonna be a cheap cheap. I'm call No, it was a muncher. <laughs> well, well then. Honestly, I'm pretty heckin' impressed with the level so far. It hasn't done anything like super crazy out of the ordinary trollish, but it's stayed very true, very classic, and it's definitely not done anything wrong either it's been a really really good experience so far B -b -b -b. okay so this part we want to go in the pipe quickly okay through the pipe i was not expecting this 
Obviously, the troll creator knew I wouldn't be expecting that because uh, we died. No, I wasn't honestly expecting such a change in the style of how this works. Okay, so I can see there's, if you look very closely, there's some munchers underneath the lava. I don't know if we're supposed to... Hmm. <laughs> oh, no. I did... How did I notice the munchers? <laughs> I didn't notice the blatant one way sitting right there. I sure DGR'd that up. Now, could it be that the troll creator wants us to notice the munchers and think that if we hit the on off, that they're gonna fly up and kill us? Maybe that's what he wants us to think? Could this be the troll creator's meta right here? I think it was, friends. I think it was, friends. Okay. How do I, what do I want to do here? So I'm noticing, you see the one ways. If we go in there as small Mario, we're going to be stuck underneath the one ways. But if we go in with a mushroom, we will be above the one ways and thus not be stuck. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Uh, you can't kill me. I'm one of you. Now I'm dead. <laughs> we put the pieces of the puzzle together last time. So hit that. We do not get killed by the muncher. Then, if we're careful, we should be able to grab this mushroom. Ha ha, yeah, baby, without activating the P-switch which drops the launchers now. Let's go, let's heckin' go. Um, so is this telling us we want the mushroom or we don't want the mushroom? I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm gonna go in with it. And uh, let's go Checkpoint City, baby. It's a beautiful city, that Checkpoint City. So now what do we have? I don't like the look of that blue platform above the Checkpoint. I think that means we're gonna be visiting CP1 again at some point. This is definitely the best Bowser's Bean Burrito sequel level that I have personally seen and played so far. There's been a lot of imitation. <laughs> but so far, this has definitely been the best version. This is the superior version of Bowser's Bean Burrito. Oh, what do you think the chances I can clutch this? Not very good. All right, so let's let the platform... Wait a second, when do I want to hit this? When it's close? No. Wait, so how do I want... How do I want to do that? Um, I got to figure out when is the right time to hit the on-off switch, or do I want to double tap? Maybe the key is the double tap? No. Nope, double tap did not help. Maybe we can off screen the munchers? Can we off screen them, boys? Will the platform come back to us with a clean? No. No, it will not. Genuinely confused how this should work. Now, I liked doing that, but. Wait, what? How? There was a muncher at this door at one point. You can't hit me, big red ball. I'm too quick for you. Hoo! Too quick for you. Look at me. Look at me go. Okay, uh, so, again, there's two doors here. Wait, what? Did I go in the... F well, I almost made a big brain. I almost made a big brain. I, did, I couldn't remember which door we came into, so we go in the bottom door. So now we can go in this pipe. This is going to bring us back to the poop, purple goop land. Well, it's time we figure out if we need the red coins or not. This should should tell us. It's feeling like a no. So I think we want to go left. And how many red? Man, there are a lot of a lot of red coins. Two, four, six of them. But I don't know that we need them. I'm not convinced. Now, 
This seems suspicious. More suspicious of these spikes. I'm wondering if I want... Mm, <laughs> I'm right. I'm gonna try it. I want it to be small. Wait. <laughs> no. no, you want to be small so you can fit through this one tile gap. All right. All righty. I will comply with your procedures, Jason. Yeah, my initial thought was when we were given the fire flower, I was like, we don't want both. We don't want to have this power up. We want to be small going to this next part. But alas, I didn't follow my troll intuitions. Because let's face it, usually my troll intuition is wrong, but... Is it weird my troll intuition is saying it's safe to, <laughs> to fall down? Is that weird? Should I trust you? Or am I hungry? I haven't ate lunch yet. I'm gonna go up top. <laughs> pretty impressed. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. My troll intuition has been spot on this this uh, level. Sadly, I didn't listen to it once. <laughs> but it was there. It was there and it was good, my friends. Maybe next time. Next time I won't, I will just follow my, my troll intuition. Well, that was quick. I think there's gonna be a platform above the munchers and it will stay in place. That is what my intuition is telling me. Let's go! Okay, what's going on here? Seems pretty ominous with the skull above the door, but we have no other way here to go. Go. What? Looks like we have to go in here in this... <laughs> that was... Alright, that was good. That was good, Jason. I'm heckin' impressed with that one, dude. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, joke's on you. <laughs> I was gonna say, joke's on you, I didn't get checkpoint too. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was so good. I'll tell you what, this level's bringing honor back to the Big Bean Burrito family name. For a while there, it was in doubt that it would ever be able to recover, but this level is doing the Big Bean Burrito family name good. Bringing honor back to it. Okay, so I want to get close, but don't go through. Second checkpoint, it's Christmas. How do I want to do this part? Oh, you don't have to press down. Okay, okay, we're good. Let's go. Well, I was, I'm still happy with it. We got second checkpoint and it's a what do I always say? Oh, yeah, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, baby That's smart there because you instantly think you need to press down But where the mushroom is located it automatically makes Mario crawl and you don't have to press down at all I like that. Okay. Don't don't go after the shinies shinies are lies Try to wish it speak to me. <laughs> so it looks like we're going back in the pipe, going back into Bowser's dungeon. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's go back in this pipe. Uh, hello? Are you awake? I don't know what accent I just gave uh, Mario there, but I don't think it was Italian. Uh, yeah, I'm going without it. Going without the mushroom. That worked out well. Is it weird every time I say Jason's name, I want to be like... <laughs> I need to play Friday the 13th again. That game is a lot of heckin' fun. Okay. So we can, this is just a lie. The old Carl box is a lie. So now we can go through the door. Okay, now we're good. 
This is a gambling man's troll level, dude. There are so many times you have to gamble on whether you trust the Carl box or not. And my troll intuition, while it started out really good, it's not been not been helping me out too much lately. As I was saying. Okay, back through the door. Now we know we don't want to go up top. We want to stay down below. And is there anything here? Okay. Looks like we have to go through the door. That's what that's for. That is what that's for. I guarantee that snake block would have pushed the pal block right in front of the door. Let's go. It's not going to kill me. I'm a little perplexed. <laughs> like I said, like I had. <laughs> well, well played. That's twice I thought we got almost CP1. Only to not get CP1. I I appreciate that, Jason. I appreciate that. I'll forever remember your benevolence every time I eat a bean burrito. Which will be never. Since I've never ate a bean burrito. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I'm not a fan of refried beans. They just don't do it for me. They don't heckin' do it for me, friends. I'm sorry if you're a big, big fan of the beans, but not for me. It's not for me, dog. Okay, let's go back through the pipe. What is wrong with my brain, dude? I, li I literally just, I literally just went into it. The talk of beans must have given my brain a little bit of gas. All right, let's try this again, friends. Through the door. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, there we go. That's the kumquat we're looking for. Like I always say, the answer lies in the kumquat. Okay, so that on-off switch. No. <laughs> Wait, I think everything was right there. Let me retrace my steps. Think about this. Order of operations. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Through the door. Jump, jump. Jump, come quat. Then through the pipe. And then the only thing that we can do then... Okay, is hit this on off. In your face, muncha. <laughs> In your face. Let's go. Let's go. That was really good. I am pleasantly and happily surprised by Bowser's Big Bean Burrito. Jason, you have done your part to bring back the honor and respect to the Bowser's Big Bean Burrito family name. There's been a lot of bad publicity over the quadruple B levels. Mess up. Ah! But my friend, this one stands out. This was the true sequel to Donkey's Level. All the other ones were imitators. This one is the real content. If you guys want to check out this level on your own, it is right above me. As I said, it will also be in the description below. Again, I've never played any of Jason's troll levels before, so I don't know if this was his first attempt or if he's a seasoned vet. All I know is that was a really, really solid effort, and I'm happy I got a chance to play it. Great job, Jason. Hope to see more levels from you in the future. But we are going to go ahead and wrap up today's episode of the Trolled Series. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you'll look forward to next week's episode of the Trolled Series. Who knows what shenanigans lie in store, but let's wrap it up. Have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take care.